20 I, years, Reaper. I don't even think words can describe it, honestly. Uh, I was driving in this morning and just kind of reminiscing on the times and it's, re it's really special. Uh, man, it's been 20 years. Uh, can't believe it. Just to be around my teammates again uh, 20 years later. We all look like we still can play. It's a blessing and super grateful for this opportunity to be here tonight. It means a lot. Uh, it means we're getting older. Uh, so to finally come back and celebrate, you know, the accomplishments of what we did 20 years ago, uh, I think it's a special night for all of us. It's always special to get back together and fortunately we had such great chemistry that that chemistry never really changed. You get us all back in the same room again and it's like 20 years ago, like nothing has changed, which is pretty cool. You don't see that too often. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. <laughs> you know, seeing these guys that were just immature college students grow to be responsible adults, and now they have their own families. So it's pretty cool to see them now as family men. Obviously, in, in the 20 years that have passed, it's like we were in college, Chris and I as freshmen, and now our, we, you know, we each have several kiddos here running around. And so I think that really probably is the most special part of it. The team was put together really well. You know, our leader, Coach Tom Preen, did a really good job of getting the right guys, you know, to come play together. And uh, we bought into the system. Just the thing about it being 20 years and to be back in a game, it's like I remember when the 77 team would come back when we were playing, and I was like, those guys are really old. I guess we're officially old now. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs>this current squad they are much talented than we were back in 2003 that's for sure the thing i love most is they have a pass first point guard obviously when we were playing it was travis diener who wanted to shoot the ball he every single lot. time no. i love watching tyler play because tyler plays the way basketball is supposed to be played you know i don't think there's a better point guard in the country you know we were driving down and i asked my son who his favorite player is and i said it's got to be Oso, right? He has yeah. just been so surprising, but he's so fun to watch. Oso, that's my man. Uh, you know, I got a chance to, uh, you know, talk with him a bit before the season, and uh, I love the way he's developing. Uh, you know, I'm seeing him go to the free throw line and knock some free throws down, but he's also being, you know, being a big man down low. And they play hard. They're tough. They're a gritty group. Obviously, they're talented, uh, but I love what coaches, Coach Smart is doing with this crew, and I just love the intensity that they play with on both ends of the floor. Shock has done an incredible job of building that culture, culture that I think goes back throughout the years of the really good Marquette basketball teams. Uh, I think everyone that's worn the jersey is ultra proud of the way the team is playing this year. I love what Shaka Smart is doing here. I'm glad that Marquette trusted him to lead this roster. They have a well-balanced team that's really deep. And I think that if they continue on this course, they can do a lot of damage in March. The school is so special. It's so special. And each one of these members of this team helped make it better, and they left it in a better place than they found it because they came in here and they understood they were playing for more than just themselves and their families. They were playing for the best crowds and the best six-man student sections in the country. There's nothing that leads to success more than having a genuine, unbelievable belief in one another. And that's what every one of these guys did. Go Marquette! If Shaka called, I think all 12 of us or how many guys we had in that team would, would step on the floor and put on that jersey again. You know, I wish I had some eligibility left. I'll go out there. I can give him about two or three, two or three spot minutes. That's about all. <laughs> if Reaper plays, I'm in. I will launch a half court three if I need to tonight. And I was always shooting half court shots, so we're good either way. <laughs>